you modified 95 family we are back uh we're gonna do a bunch of random things today and hopefully make some sort of headway in progress it's a Katy perry day it's hot and it's cold and it's yes and it's no so we're gonna stay in the garage i'm sweating because i just ate vegan ramen kimchi flavor and i'm a little overweight but uh you know what you gotta do just give me five on my black hand side and let's go Let's take a second to come over here to the library. This is uh, one of the more heavy duty shelves. There's a lot of very important things here. I was gifted some cams. These ones right here. I think one set is, I think both those sets are actually GSR. That set is B16. That's a head I got that's just for parts, which reminds me that I have extra stud stock ones to replace the broken ones on the B18A, which is sitting right down here until I have time or parts to work on that. Still got more recycling to do if you guys saw that video. These are the cams that came off of my GSR project. And so I wanna spend a little time on that. One of the things I did, I was so excited. It was my first time really taking apart a B-Series engine. And I did not think that, hey, maybe I should take these cam gears off, especially in my heart of hearts, I was dreaming of changing to different cams. And I would need those factory gears because California would get very little leeway. So now I'm stuck with the problem of how to get those gears off. And if you look at almost every single one of these, you can see those two down the bottom, PR3. Those are B16 ones, they say PR3. Those say PR3. This leads me to believe all these VTEC ones are the same. So Look at that empty space. I pulled that head down. That one actually has all the cam caps to hold the cams in place. So I'm gonna tighten those and then hopefully we can figure out a way to safely get off these cam gears so that over here in stasis in this holding pattern where the motors are put together, where the motors are taken apart, I'll be able to possibly drop in the cams. I don't actually know how to set them up so I don't wanna damage anything and I know that the valve lash has to be set before well i think that they had i think that it has to be loosened and then the cams put in then the valve lash set appropriately so let's see where we're at so here we go this is another spare head it has broken studs there's a lot of different issues that will need to be dealt with Maybe this can be salvaged. I don't know, but for right now, it's for parts. You can see on the front here, this one, some of the holes are messed up. That hole's messed up. This one's obviously broken off. I think a few of them are rounded. I had taken this to the head shop, and they took this one and the one next to it with the B16 cams, and they put everything together. They took all the good parts off this they could, all the good parts off that, and they made this head over here. So I had one complete assembly both top and bottom that were in good working order but i still don't want to give up on this and there's still so much good stuff so i'm hoping what we can do is i can secure these down i'm not going to torque them down i'm just going to tighten them down by hand just so they're nice and snug i don't have that fancy tool that holds these but i will find something to place in here so i can get these loose and that would advance us very far in this project if anything feels like it's going to be damaged, I'm just going to cut it right there and start working on any of the other numerous things that we have to do today. I remember watching a video. I would tag the person who made it, but I have consumed all the Honda content, it seems, that has to do with the B and some D series motors. And since I don't have that little cool piece that holds these gears in place, and this one's not very tight because they took out the valve springs on this side. I believe this is the... I don't know what side this is. Oh, this is the front. So this is the exhaust side. I still got the valves on this side, and I think they went into that the head over there. So I need to keep these fixed. So I give these a light turn. And so for one of them, it was super easy because the one that turns this way, I was able to put this in place with that. It didn't seem to damage anything. And just very gently gave it a bump with just my regular ratchet. I wasn't using any air tools, impact tools, just by hand. And I would have loved to use a Snap-on 14, like I used a Snap-on 12 to anchor these bad boys down, but I broke that and it still needs to go back to the Snap-on truck. And then I turned this over and did the same thing on the other side, just so I had proper leverage. And now these should come off. And I don't think there's any extra damage or wear on these. I was very careful and I 
the gears still look as nice as they did now. So I have to remember once these come off, I need to keep these together. And then behind there, there should be a key in there that I can't use because I'm going to have to reuse that for the, the next cams that go in. And I'm sure I can just snug these up to the new ones. And somewhere in this Honda library, I should have new, I want to say cam seals. I'll show you pretty much every set has them on there, right there. There should be new ones. Usually you're like, oh, these are good enough. Just so you don't have to take these off. So this will actually get new ones because the cans will be new, but the cam gears will be factory. And then we'll look, look at the cams. I've showed them before, but they've just been sitting in their box saying safe so they didn't get all dinged up or anything happened to them in the meantime before I got to experience their wonderfulness. So if you're from California, you would know why this is important. There's so little flexibility we get on a car that's gonna operate on the roadway. And I like to go fast, but from zero to 65, so I hit freeway speeds and then gotta cut right there because you can't be breaking the law. So these are the only California legal cam upgrades. So they're supposed to, they're the stage one, skunk twos. They're supposed to be just a little bit more aggressive than the Civic or Integra Type R. So they should match up with everything else we've done to this GSR to make it a lot more like a Type R, which is our end goal. It was a Type R on a budget, kind of like a ghetto Type R, because we did not use the PR3 head. I was also looking at the cam gears, not these ones, but these ones also say PR4. There it is. Or PR3. They all say PR3. And then uh, the B18A, theirs also say PR3. So I think Honda pulled a big brain move by making all the cam gears on their B-Series the same. I might have a D-Series head around, but I can already see that it's like a different pattern. Because these have four. I think the D-Series have like a five-spoke pattern. But here's those keys. And I want to make sure not to lose. And then the bolts will go with them. I gave them a wipe, which did absolutely nothing. So I will find those cam seals. I'll open these bad boys up. And I will just gingerly sit them in place. Uh, these are some of the other parts that have been cleaned up. Important things about this. I have in a bag to make sure I wouldn't lose it. It's, there is a little dowel pin and a gasket. If you do not have this or if yours is deteriorated, VTEC will not crack. It'll make the sounds, but it will not give you that oil pressure that you need. Also, I have... One of those aftermarket kits. Man, buy the Skunk 2 one or a better one if you're going to do it. I bought the cheap ones, and the day I installed it, I used the impact because I'm an idiot, and I snapped one off. But that's all going to be fix fixed because that donor head, I pulled all the pieces off, and I'm only short one of these that are threaded. But it'll be all back to normal because I have another donor head that should have that piece, I hope. But this is what's going to go on top of the cams. Observe, I am all that is man. That was pretty easy. I really appreciate Skunk 2 and their stickers they give you because I am a master at sticker tooting. I'm not going to say something like, I'm not sponsored by Skunk 2. Yeah, no one would ever assume that. That's like saying, well, I'm not a doctor, but I'll take a look because I, Civic Star 98, of course, besides building the most okayest Honda engines, am also a doctor of love. Boom, and they drop in like that. It's almost ready to drop in the car. Uh, those cam covers will get on top of here. This one gets a little cap on the end. This one gets a distributor. That's why it's always easy to tell these things apart because one of them has a little slit for the distributor to go on, and one of them does not. Yeah, so I'm very stoked about this. This keeps moving things closer. I need to do a little bit more research. Uh, these have a, a coating on them, so I don't know if that needs to be cleaned off with like some brake cleaner or something before we put on like some assembly lube or something to lubricate these so that it's not dry when it actually goes to turn. Because even when this motor's done, I do not think that we're going to put it in that day, like once it's all together. And I just hand tighten those. I didn't try to like torque them down, the, the torque specs. Once this is all locked in, then I will tighten those down all the way. Everything on here will be checked to make sure it's tight. The VTEC cylinder will be back on. I made sure I had all the sensors and they're in. Bam. Remember I broke that one zero. My roommate fixed that. I'm pretty sure that's just hand tight, but we'll go back in and we'll check all those things. Thanks for coming with me. I really appreciate it. I'm going to show you one more thing, then we're going to be out.
Sorry, it's a little windy outside, but it's the final scene and I wanted you to see this. So this is what I'm running right now. This was the B16 that belongs to my housemate that we swapped in because of all the motors we have sitting there. This was the one that had most recently been running. So swapping off a few parts like the fuel rail and some sensors and distributor allowed us to get this thing up and running by the next day or so once we started working on it. But this was a first for a lot of things. This was my first time I think it was the first time we did the, the wire tuck where you exploit those little holes in both sides of the body and you just depend that headlight harness and push it through just to make it cleaner without destroying anything that Honda had in mind when they designed these beautiful beautiful very flexible cars this is also where I decided that I wanted a full-size Integra radiator and zero cut them out re-welded them so that it sits flush and in place clears the headers fans a little close maybe when this comes out i will trim that fan a little bit more closely or get a slim fan what else is in here so we decided to run this super cool skunk 2 clutch master cylinder and i love the way it feels it's very good i think one of the first hose we had were messed up so we had some leak leaks and as you know a clutch and brake fluid which i think are interchangeable are very caustic so that's what happened to the paint on this so when we finish that gsr that's built to be a lot more like the type r <clears throat> all this stuff will come out minus the brake booster ain't never taking that out it's too much work and just a full engine bay cleaning which is so much easier with no motor in place and then fixing the paint fixing the champ white on the outside maybe later coming fixing the champ white on the outside of the bay my Skunk 2 knockoff China hardware is holding up, so that's gonna stay. I might actually get switched to blue because my new theme is blue, so my new valve cover will be painted wrinkle blue like an H22. I just think that's a cool look. I love the wrinkle red. It's like on my other hatchback, but I want each one to be unique and different so I can justify having three of these jokers. And also some body work needs to be done. When this door opens on these custom fenders, it's hitting right there. So basically I need to take a towel, screwdriver, stick it in there, bend this out past that so that then the door can open. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for coming along. I really appreciate every, appreciate everyone who's watching. I don't even think I have like 60 some odd friends in real life. So to have that many online warms my heart. All right, until I see you guys next time. Later, fam.